African buffaloes are the largest and possibly the scariest member of the Bobile family. The African buffalo species contains four widely recognized subspecies, the Cape buffalo, forest buffalo, the West African buffalo, and the Central African buffalo. The African buffalo is native to East and South Africa, in countries like Ethiopia, all the way through Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Zambia, and Malawi. They are also found to a lesser extent throughout Angola, Mozambique, and Swaziland. Buffaloes were once found in numerous populations throughout most of Sub-Saharan Africa. Today, however, their range has dramatically decreased due to the combination of human fragmentation and the pandemic of the 1800s known as Rinderpest, also known as the Cattle Plague. This cattle plague has to be considered one of the most devastating epidemics to have hit southern Africa in the late 19th century, killing well over 5 million domestic African cattle and wild populations of wildebeest, giraffes, and buffalo. But healthy populations are still found, but more commonly, on wildlife reserves. African buffaloes are capable of inhabiting any terrain with a permanent water resource, always being within 20 kilometers of some body of water. They are very diverse animals, habitat-wise, with different subspecies being found in more or less the same type of habitat, but heavily favoring different habitats that be dense lowland forest, rainforest, savannas, or grasslands. All subspecies tend to have a preference for riverine habitats as buffalo density is directly associated with annual precipitation. Buffaloes are very social animals that live in herds that can range anywhere from a few buffalo to 1,000 buffalo. Two types of herds are often formed, with both types of herds varying in size based on the subspecies and the time of year. Herds that are made up of both males and females that are called breeding herds or mixed herds. Bachelor herds being made up of of course all males, with males having a dominance hierarchy in both types of herds. Different populations have different tendencies, for example, larger herds usually tend to split up while smaller herds tend to stick together. Aside from those differences, buffalo herds also differ in terms of migration habits, as some herds choose to migrate more often than others. In general, bachelor buffalo herds do not migrate nearly as much as mixed herds, thus leading to males in bachelor herds often being larger than males in mixed herds. And even though mixed herds migrate more, they are pretty stagnant, but still migrate ever so often, with some migrations of over 80 kilometers having been recorded. Buffalo are known to breed throughout the whole year, with males and females showing no permanent bond whatsoever. Females will give birth to a calf every other year after a gestation period of around 9 to 11 months. Females are known to have births at the same time as an anti-predator adaptation. Buffaloes have both poor eyesight and hearing, making up for it with an enchanted sense of smell, being notorious for their anti-predator adaptations. Some of these adaptations include a heightened caution, preventive aggression, and active aggression. Buffaloes are also known to have what are called pathfinders that will travel in front of the herd, observing, smelling, and listening for any potential predator threats. And if they spot predator threats, their top choices of action are usually stampedes, which may or may not include the whole herd depending on the threat and distance. But when evading is not an option, they will resort to more violent measures. When push comes to shove, buffaloes will attack predators like lions and leopards. Before we continue, here are some gruesome examples of those interactions between buffalo and their arch nemesis, the African lion. Leopards and lions are the only animals who are known to prey on buffaloes, with leopards preying only on calves, and lions being one of the only threats to adult African buffalo. Male buffalo fall prey to lions more often than young and females. In fact, males in bachelor herds are four times more likely to be killed than females in mixed herds. When buffalo are not fighting to the death with Africa's apex predator, they more than likely are grazing as buffaloes are huge grazers who spend huge portions of their lives not only grazing, but chewing their cod, extracting every single ounce of nutrients from the vegetation they consume. African buffaloes have an average lifespan of 18 years in the wild and are capable of living up to 35 years in captivity. 
that's gonna do it all for the basic overview on the African Buffalo. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe as we post similar content on a regular basis. This is Anna Monoro. Thank you for watching. Until next time.